Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skills Series and in this short video we're going to talk about the IBM Cloud Cost Estimator Tool. So what is the IBM Cloud Cost Estimator Tool? Well, it's a tool that actually allows you to create estimates and quotations for the services and infrastructure that you'll find within IBM Cloud which you can then save and download uh, normally as a PDF file uh, so that you can send them to other people or, or indeed to yourself. Um, to actually see how much a service is likely to cost you or even an entire environment is likely to cost you before you actually create it as an environment. So it's a really good tool for finding out what your costs might actually be. So um, that's basically it. So let's go and have a look and uh, at it within the IBM Cloud Console. Okay, so here I am in my um, IBM Cloud Console at cloud.ibm.com. If you notice along the top ribbon here, you can see this little icon. Looks a bit like a notepad and a, and a pen. So hover over that, you can see it's the cost estimator tool. So I click on that, um, basically gives me some blurb, but, but you'll notice that for me to actually start estimating anything, I need to pick something from the catalog. So let's just go to the catalog. And uh, let's say I want to uh, actually create an estimate for a virtual server. So let's choose a virtual server from the catalog. So we'll just click on the tile. And it's pretty straightforward. It's just as I'm going to go and provision a server. So let's say I want a public multi-tenant machine. Um, let's let's uh, select two of them, for example, for my environment. I'm going to build them in London, so I'm going to stick with London 02. Uh, and let's say that I want two machines with eight CPUs and 16 gig of RAM. And I want it to run a Red Hat. So let's choose that. And let's say uh, I don't know, 100, gig, 100 gigabyte uh, storage disk, let's leave the rest the same. All I need to do is just click Add to Estimate once I've got those that, that information. Then how long do I actually want to use it? So you'll notice that I've uh, I've decided to take an hourly server, so how many hours do I expect to have it during the month? So let's, uh, let's stick with 24, so it'll give me sort of a, a daily cost, let's say. And then all I do is click Calculate Cost. It'll come up with a cost for me, so in this case it's 22 uh, uh, US dollars and, and three cents. Uh, okay, let's save that, and then I can uh, then I can go and review my estimate. So then I'm taken to this page, and you can see I've I've got my public instant estimate here. I can uh, click on the little arrow here, and that gives me a bit of a breakdown. But the other thing I can also do is actually download uh, that estimate as a PDF as well. So let's just do that, and. Uh, and I'll just uh, open up my uh, my estimate. You can see that I've got a, a PDF file now that I can save to my local disk or I can email to somebody if I need someone to, to actually authorise that for me. So that's great. So let's go, and, uh, let's go and get a cost for something else. So let's go back to the catalogue and, um, I don't know, let's uh, let's think uh, what, what might I want. Let's, uh, let's try Cloudant this time. And um, so again, very simple for this service as well. Okay, I want this to be in London. I want a standard service, uh, and that's pretty much all I need to uh, need to say there. So again, let's click Add to Estimate, and then it asks me some other information about about my cloud and service. So, how much data do I think I'm going to store? Well, it's not going to be a massive database. So let's say I want 10 gigabytes. Um, how many reads am I going to look at? So, let's say um, 10 reads. My write capacity. Let's say I'm writing less than I'm reading, so let's say five. Again, details of these read and write capacities are sort of given within the uh, within the, the plan here. And then the global query capacity, um, let's say five for that as well. So then let's just calculate the cost. So just click the button. You can see there that uh, as a monthly estimated cost for that configuration, um, it's going to be $40. So again, if I click Save, uh, then similarly I can go and review my estimate. And uh, you can see there now that I've got my cloud and, and my public instance. So saving these for, for me as I go along. So again, I can go and look at that. And if I want to, I can go and download, go and look, download the PDF. So if we go back to uh, the catalog again, so let's go and have a look. Uh, this time, let's choose, um, I don't know, let's choose object storage, which just again happens to be in my, uh, in my list here. But I can use any service I want to. So I can search the catalog for anything that I want to. But let's go to object storage. So again, I want a standard um, a standard plan. And um, again, if I click Add to Estimate. So um, if I choose for, um, let's say, I want a, uh, 
cross-regional bucket based in the EU, um, then uh, I can uh, choose a different storage class. So let's say I want this to be, um, I don't know, smart storage. So how much capacity am I going to need on average? I don't know, let's say 500 uh, gigabytes. Um, how much egress? Let's say, um, let's say 20 gigabytes. How much retrieval? Well, I'm not going to retrieve all of it, but let's say I'm going to retrieve 30 gig. And um, I'm just going to take the zero out there. And then how? Uh, then, then the request counts. So how many requests am I going to make? Let's say 400 requests. Uh, let's say 400 here as well. Uh, and then just calculate the cost again. And you can see here on a monthly basis, it's going to cost me uh, $1.80. So let's save that. And again, review the estimate. So again, you can you get the idea. It's it's sort of building the uh, building the uh, the environment for me. So if I want to remove any of these at any time, all I do is click the uh, uh, click the little um, cross there. So I'll click on there, it will just do remove. So then next time when I come in, that that cost will have gone. But basically, when I log in the next time and I go to cost estimator, then uh, these costs will still be there until I actually choose um, to uh, to delete them. Now we notice that the costs that I've got here are based in US dollars, uh, but you can actually create um, estimates in different uh, in different costs as well, so in different currencies rather, and uh, the list of currencies uh, that support it is, is actually quite wide as well. So you can do dollars and, and euros, etc, etc. So there's, there's, there's lots of choice and uh, something there for your region. Okay, so that's about it for um, for this video. To, uh, as I mentioned, it was going to be short. So as a quick summary, the cost estimator is a tool that allows you to create estimates and quotations for your services within IBM Cloud. Uh, you can choose to create your estimates from a range of currencies. So I, I just so showed you US dollars, uh, but there are a range of uh, currencies available which uh, will show up by default, depending on which region you're actually in. Um, the tool will actually save your quotations for as long as you need them. So um, once you're done with them, you can easily delete them from your from your estimator view. And as I mentioned, you can actually download your quotations as well in PDF format for later use. OK, so that's it for this, uh, this short video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.